In the past few weeks, I've been getting a lot of questions about my Fujifilm XC4 setup. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about that, tell you about the setup itself, the accessories I use, as well as the custom settings that I use for button customization, as well as some of the recipes that I utilize when using this camera. Let's start with the accessories. Now, this is not exactly an accessory itself. It is more mandatory to be able to operate this camera, and that's a lens. For me, my lens of choice for this camera is the 27 millimeter f 2.8 from Fuji. This one is the older version of that. It does not have the weather sealing and it doesn't have a aperturing, but I decided to go with this one because I did get a very good deal on it. Now there are several very good and different lenses that you can also utilize with this camera. But the reason that I chose this one is because of its small and compact size. I wanted to have something that is still pocketable and with this profile, it is definitely small enough to carry around with me anywhere, put in my pocket, in my hoodie, my jacket, wherever I wanna put it, it basically fits anywhere. Also, when you look at it from a point of performance versus price, this lens performs actually really well and I am not bothered by the f-stop of 2.8. I usually don't shoot with that low of an aperture. Most of the time I'm shooting between f4 and f8 or f10. And to be honest, even at 2.8, when you are shooting at night, for example, this still does pretty well if you are able to utilize the available light to your advantage. When it comes to accessories, I have a thumb grip on the X-C4, which helps enormously to get a better grip on this camera because straight out of the box, this camera does not come with a lot of ergonomics. So it can be really hard to get a good grip on this camera and feel secure holding it. This specific thumb grip is not made for the X-E4. I believe this is actually made for the X100V, but I have been utilizing this one on my former X-E3 and now on the X-E4. And I believe you can just utilize any thumb grip really, as long as it fits into the hot shoe. And it's been working extremely well, especially with the addition of the other grip that I have on here. This one I also used on my Fujifilm X-E3 and it's not specifically made for the X-E4 because uh, you can tell that there is a little bit of a gap right at the grip because the X-E3 does have a little bit of a different body shape than the X-E4 but for me I'm cheap so I didn't want to buy a new one so I went with this one and it works just fine. These two attachments here on the side are the quick releases that I am utilizing for my camera strap because there are times where I want my camera strap on my camera and other times I only want the camera body, no straps, nothing on there. And this quick release system really gives me the option to make that transition extremely fast and convenient without having to spend a lot of time messing around and not being able to get the strap off as fast as I would like to. When it comes to the camera strap, I wanted to keep it simple, so I chose one that matches the camera and is also not too long. And I got this one off of Amazon. By the way, I'm going to put all the links to all the products into the description in case you wanted to look them up further. But yeah, I got it off of Amazon. It works just great and I can do anything that I want to do with it. The next thing that I added to this camera is the lens hood and that might be the priciest thing that I have actually added to this whole setup. But for me, it was worth it because I am planning on keeping this lens on this body for a long time. I went through several lens hoods and nothing looked right with this combination. So I picked it up and so far I have been enjoying it. And the last thing that I've added is a shutter release button. I also kept this one black just to add to the whole all black aesthetic. And that is also a reason why I taped the X-E4 that you can normally read on the front with black tape. 
just to add to this all black setup, which also makes this whole setup more discreet and not as visible. So those are basically all of the accessories that I use on this setup. Now let's get to the settings, button setup, as well as some of the recipes that I use on this camera. When it comes to settings, I want to highlight the ones that have the most impact for me. And the first one would be shooting in RAW plus JPEG. I personally like to edit all my photos in post, but I also like to utilize the film simulations in the camera, but more on that one later. Another setting that I utilize quite often is to be able to switch between electronic shutter and mechanical shutter which most of the time I am leaving it on the mechanical shutter just because I really enjoy the shutter sound of the Fuji system. But there are occasions where I want to switch to the electronic shutter to attract the least amount of attention possible. One setting that I immediately and permanently turned off is pre-AF, which is basically the camera autofocusing at all times while you have the camera on. And that is something that I do not want in my photography at all. I only want the camera to focus when I want it to focus. And pre-AF does not help with that at all. And those are basically the settings that I changed to fit the camera to my style of photography and to what I wanted to do. Now I want to talk about which buttons I customize to certain settings to make my life easier when I'm out shooting. The first thing that I did is to change this button right here to my ISO settings, just because there are no other buttons really anywhere else on this camera that made sense for me to assign to the ISO. There is one button that it would make sense to assign it to and that would be the front dial, but for me that's unfortunately not the case, just because I do not have a aperture ring on my lens, so I need this button to be set for aperture as well as shutter speed. At least that's how I wanted it to be. The only other button I customized to have something assigned to is the AEL AFL button and that one I set to my photometry settings. Being able to change my photometry settings quickly allows me to just have more accurate autofocus depending on the situation that I'm in. Sometimes for example when I want to shoot through something and I have a specific spot that I need to be in focus, I choose single spot and other times when I want the camera to pick the focus point itself. I choose white tracking. And for me that has been working out pretty well because there are just different scenarios that require different types of focus just to have accurate results and have your objects that you are shooting in focus. When it comes to recipes, I'm utilizing three. Two of them come from Fuji X Weekly. I highly recommend you checking out that website. I'm going to put it down in the description as well because they have so many more recipes that you might enjoy. So definitely go and check that out. And then there is one more that I've created myself and that is the one that I have been using the past few weeks and I have really come to enjoy this one a lot. One big tip that I have for you if you want to play with recipes is to stay away from the clarity settings. Basically keep it to zero because it does slow down the processing time of your camera by a lot. And that also means that you are very likely to miss out on shots. But here are the three recipes that I'm utilizing with some example photos so you can get an idea what it looks like.
So there you have it. Those are all the accessories that I have on my XE4 as well as the settings I use and the recipes that I utilize. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I appreciate every single one of you guys and I will see you in the next one. Peace.